there is no safe and effective treatment available for the disease in question. Therefore, if ivermectin were understood to be safe and effective, the vaccines would not be granted emergency use, use authorization. And if ivermectin were understood now to be safe and effective, that authorization would apparently have to be removed. Is that the explanation for why the world seems to be ignoring a perfectly useful and safe treatment? I don't know, but it is a discussion we're going to have to have. Hmm. How do you plan on having that discussion? Well, Heather and I covered this topic on uh, our last Our Course podcast last Saturday, and uh, it has since this is a drug that is so widely produced and inexpensive, we could effectively ratchet up production. most creativity and, and that's where I seek because I know that if I'm not in that space and, and truth telling space or in breaking through uh, conformity of what you can The temperature is often 20 degrees colder than nearby valley towns. The cool climate preserves a rare alpine forest that more resembles Canada than North Carolina. Welcome to Canada down south, y'all. There's all sorts of plants and animals that are unusual to find in the southeast, but these northern critters... Hello, Head west. Bear. Hello, bear. I thought it was a dog. That was crazy. That's so cool.
the park office and ranger station two miles up the road on your right with maps, park information, restrooms, and drinkable water. p.m. from May through August, closes at 9 p.m. September and October, at 8 p.m. March and April, and 6 p.m. November through February. This is by far the snowiest place in North Carolina, averaging 91 inches a year. The park is open every day except for Christmas Day or when weather conditions make the roads unsafe. The speed limit is 25 miles per hour on all park roads and 10 miles per hour at the Summit parking lot. Gasoline is not available at the park. The closest gas station is on Highway 80. From the park, take the Blue Ridge Parkway 11 miles north, exit Highway 80 and turn left. You'll find gas two miles down the road. I'm just saying, we've had our share of folks run empty up at the top. Driving up, you experience one of North America's most habitat-diverse stretches of road. At the lower elevation, you pass a variety of deciduous Southern Appalachian hardwood trees and world-famous Catawba rhododendron with bright purple flowers in June. Gaining elevation, the forest transitions to evergreen, red spruce, and Fraser fir trees. With temperatures often 20 degrees colder than nearby valley towns, the cool climate preserves a rare alpine forest that more resembles Canada than North Carolina. Welcome to Canada down south, y'all. There's all sorts of plants and animals, 
that are unusual to find in the southeast, but these northern critters can survive in the sky island above the clouds. Like red crossbills, northern flying squirrels, red spruce trees, and northern sawwed owls. You'll find the park office and ranger station two miles up the road on your right, with maps, park information, restrooms, and drinkable water. This is the Folk Art Center at the bottom of the Blue Ridge uh, Mountain Reserve here in North Carolina. Unfortunately, it's currently closed because uh, the hours of operation is 10 to 5 p.m. But it's still like 8 o'clock, it's too early, so... Sadly, we won't be able to visit inside. We're on our way back home. We were here yesterday and here's our last day here. Uh, we will consider coming back with more time uh, to explore. So that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and safe travels.